online dating. Is it for you? It feels like everybody has to meet on an app or meet on a website these days, but that doesn't work for everybody. Not everyone is able to really interact that way emotionally, mentally, okay? There's different ways to meet people and online dating may not be it for you. If you still kind of get a gross feeling and you feel like it's kind of taboo, not for you. If you already have a really big bustling social life, it's not really necessary. You'll meet someone along the way, right? If you don't like to play games or you're hypersensitive to rejection, that's right. Online dating is not going to be for you. There's a lot of kind of psychological back and forth that goes along. You can't really be upfront with people. You can't really be all in and you can't really get that initial spark right away. Plus you have to deal with things like ghosting and never getting a response to someone that you just built up a lot of interest in. So online dating, dating through an app, the digital dating world, it's not really for everybody. But there are still some things you can do to meet people in the real world. First, you need to focus on your common interests. Are you really into magic or card games? You can find groups where people are getting together to celebrate those things and that is a really great place to meet people who are kind of into the same things and going the same direction as you. You also kind of have to open your mind. You are literally running into people everywhere every single day. Who's not to say that trip to the gas station is gonna be your meet cute, right? Keep your mind open. There's people everywhere and any of them could be the right person for you. You never know. You can also think about things like volunteering, which can really help you meet some solid people and even help you have some really big epiphanies of your own about what kind of partner and person you want to be. And last but not least, private social groups. Thanks to the pandemic, people realized that smaller social settings was gonna be what happened moving forward. So they started setting up private social groups which focused on everything from the arts, to botanics, to music, you name it. There's affordable private social clubs everywhere, all over. The biggest takeaway here is not to put yourself in a box, right? Just because your friend found someone through an app doesn't mean you're gonna find someone through an app. That's okay, maybe you're not supposed to. You can still find the right person in the real world. You just gotta put yourself out there.